All right, we are in the final round. I'm not top cutting because I lost three rounds so far, but I want to see if I get at least to a point where I can say, ooh, I almost top cut because I only lost one battle too many. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what awaits us in the round nine. Mm. Let's go back to Avery. Okay. Oh, Zygarde Zamazenta. Um, Thunderous makes me not want to bring the Gyarados. Because if I can't even effectively intimidate, then Gyarados is kind of sus. I mean, then it's mostly just there for Among Us on opposing teams. Uh, Grimmsnarl could be a problem. Hmm, I just need to... I have nothing that could burn the Zygarde. Well, except for Blue Flare, but, you know. Uh, how do I... They have the Tapu Fini to prevent... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, playing this slow won't work, because then Zygarde gets out of hand. Hmm. I'm gonna go Grimsnarl, Reshiram, Zashian, of course, and not Thunderous, not Gyarados. Let's go for Gastrodon, because there is a Thunderous, I guess. And maybe if I stall out terrains, I can yawn anyway. Yeah. I'd have to max the Reshiram early, but I'll try to avoid it. Okay, starting right away with the good stuff. I love that they brought the shiny Zamazenta. Okay. What are we thinking? Gonna be coaching and coil. Something along those lines. Maybe howling instead. I'm thinking. Did it break in case. Has a. Hmm, wait, what if it has a weakness policy or something? But no, I mean if it has a white herb. Uh. Could just thunderwave the Zamazenta and remove it. Actually, yeah, let's try that. No Dynamax, just a blue flare. Uh, okay. Are you protecting too? No. Right, wait. Is it because coaching works through protect, like decorate? Or am I just thinking of decorate? Oh, see? Good thing I didn't Dynamax there. Yeah, they just wanted to bait my Dynamax turn one. Um, Maybe now is a good time to reflect. Mm, maybe I should have brought Gyarados. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh. Witching out of paralyzed Zamazenta. Mm -hmm. Well, the secret is out. I have Thunder Wave on my Grimms now. But Zamazenta is basically the only Pokemon they have on the entire team. That's susceptible to paralysis from a thunder wave. Yeah, there's the coil. Oh my god, with Gyarados I could taunt the Zygarde. 
Um, I can spirit break Tapu Fini. I can spirit break the Zygarde. Yeah, let's see. Maybe we find out what item it's holding. Ooh. Uh, just gonna ice beam. Already maxing. I think the combination of Spirit Break and Ice Beam probably doesn't take it below half HP. Which means it won't turn into a Gundam. Uh, this turn 2 or 3? Wait, I switched. Turn 3. Max Quake. Okay. Building up defenses on both sides. Fair enough. Yeah, it's the good old Calm Mind. Do we see any item activating? No. Okay, so that remains a mystery. Uh, you knock out my dreams now. Should I be aiming for a light screen? Mm, mm, Should have gone for the light screen. Hey, at least they didn't call mine, so my protect wasn't completely wasted. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, let's just substitute all until the Dynamax is over. Maybe I can hit it on the last turn with a Behemoth Blade just to deal th that extra damage. I mean, it's not really extra damage though, because it's just double to the doubled HP, which then return to normal, so... Yeah. Let's attack the... Wait, do you have how much of special leaf? Oh, God! Right. Oh, it had a Psychic Seed. Okay, that makes sense. Uh... I'm not gonna break through that Finny with my Gastrodon, but I might as well do a little bit more damage with the Ice Beam without activating its complete form. Max Quake. Probably another Moonblast into my Gastro. What item are you holding? Wait. Oh, okay. For some reason that looked like it's targeting Zashian and I was confused. Okay, that's nice. Okay, you have a defense boost, but Sacred Sword ignores that. However, after this turn you do get your complete form. So this is now better, but only because they have a defense boost. Should I be protecting? Probably to stall out the terrain. That means it might coil. How much? Oh, 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 oh. Wait, does Mystic Terrain even protect from the first turn of Yawn or, or only from the falling of a sleep port? And why am I... Why am I not sure about that? I think it protects it complete, uh, from completely, even from getting drowsy, but... 
This is just one of those questions you never ask yourself until you are in that specific situation where it actually matters. Okay. No further call mines happened. That's great. I still have no safe switch-ins with anything. Could sub, but that's not gonna get me anywhere, is it? Papufini switching out. No! Great! Which means it... Oh, maybe I should have <laughs> gone for ice speed. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Reflect is being very useful right now. Hmm, tank it, tank it, tank it! Okay, didn't matter which move I selected. Yeah, that's gonna take two more hits, isn't it? Okay, I have a Reshiram. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And you have thousand arrows. Yikes. But I think I'm fine as long as there is no Moonblast special attack drops on my... Oh, crap! I have pretty low HP on the Zash. Yeah. With Drain gone, Draco Meteor would be a... Pretty solid hit as well. I don't think I can do that right now. Kind of have to, but they can... Hmm. Hmm. Nah, it's gonna deal zero damage though. Uh, no matter what I choose, right? I might as well go for the special defense boost. Wait, no. Should have gone for the Wormwind. What the hell? Why was I thinking about Draco Meteor and its special attack drop? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Does it have a water move? The top of Ine, I mean. Otherwise, maybe Zacian can tank the, tank the Moonblast with the special defense boost. I don't have light screen though. Mm. Yeah. How do I break through the Finny? <laughs> I'm gonna need to fish for a crit if I even get that far. Uh, what's the item? Don't understand what item. Are you using? You're gonna just protect again. Um, <laughs> I wanna reduce your attack, but I also want the sun to be shining. lost this battle either way maybe maybe okay yeah wormwind would have killed but at what cost ow ow Jeez. yeah never mind <laughs> Mm, 
I don't know. Zygarde protecting and Finny getting hit by a crit. Zygarde is not protecting, so I'm dead. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try... Starting with Zacian and Gyarados? Uh... No, but I'm definitely bringing Garados. The Zacian. And Reshiram, because... Other than the Zamazento, everything is pretty slow. Well, and the Thunderous, I suppose. Even need this the Gastrodon. Maybe even a late Grimmsnarl would be helpful. But Spirit Break doesn't do much. Thunder Wave is only useful against Zamazenta. But this is just screens. Let's see if I can bring it back. Same start, because why wouldn't it be? I'm gonna wait a turn before I bring in the Gyarados. Is it gonna protect again though? The otherwise I could just Draco Meteor and Behemoth Blade the heck out of that Zygarde. Set up a sub. I mean, it must be really. Must they must be itching to just thousand arrows into these ground weak, restricted legendaries in front of them. Maybe I get a burn this time. Oh, never mind. They are going for the max right away. That is fine, actually. Yeah, see, it does work through Protect. Any burns? Nope. Hmm. Now I'm just gonna... Actually, I'm gonna Behemoth Blade this Amazenta and... Switch to Gyarados. Because you wouldn't Max Quake the Substitute Pokemon. And yeah, you would switch out the Amazenta like last time, I guess. Bringing me the terrain early. Oh wait, they have the option of Worm Winding. But Misty Terrain reduces Dragon Attack, so probably not. Oh, there's the Misty Seed. Uh, <laughs> why did I think it was on the Fini? 
Ha! Huh. I thought Finny had it, but Finny has leftovers, I guess. Right. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, it's free damage on the Finny. Oh, you do max quick the sub. Okay. Well, I still outspeed you. So I can set another sub, I guess. Um. So it has coil, it has protect, it has a, it has thousand arrows, and presumably a dragon move. But I feel like Steel Spike would be useful on that. Because then you can buff both of your... I guess Coil already has that side covered. Um... I could also Stone Edge the Tapu Fini. Haunt seems fun. Also, switching into a flying type is actually bullshit because Thousand Arrows hits both of them. I mean, it also hits flying types anyway. But Max Quake doesn't. Did something, I guess. I'm guessing they don't bring in Cinderor because of my Thunderous. Kind of just want to get rid of the Finny. But it's gonna be Thousand Arrows now that. You can't do anything other than that. Mm, Castro. Vinny could protect. Make sure it doesn't if it doesn't. Okay. Okay, I'm switching out the Garados next. So I can recycle the Intimidate. Do you switch the Finny out? You do? Okay. When Mazenta is back, just drops to the Behemoth Blade, I assume. It has a lot of defense. It resists the steel move, but... Still. Is my Zashian dying here? Yikes! <laughs> okay, what else are you bringing into this battle? Oh! What do you do? I mean, first I protect, obviously, and... 
bring in the Gyarados again. Show me what your trick is. Wagger! Right, because there's Mr. Terrain. Oh boy! East Zygarde doesn't get boosts from knocking out Pokemon. Now the mist is gone. Wait, you have neutral... Oh, it's plus one. Dashian can Behemoth Blade knock out both of the remaining Pokemon. I have worm winded. And I guess it would make sense if the Zygarde doesn't even have a dragon move. Considering how often it's standing on. What? What did you give me? Oh. Okay. Obviously, unless this is a crit, it's not going to get even close to knocking out the Zygarde. Oh! Oh, if you had targeted the Reshiram... Ah, just enough to, <laughs> to activate complete form. Gastro can dodge another thousand. But I guess they thought in case Gastrodon somehow stays alive, they knock it out with foul play first. Maybe that was the plan. I don't even know. I just get knocked out here. And that's GG because I cannot Behemoth Blade everything at once. get a nice beam up. Crit, 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 freeze, something. Ah. 
Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, it's over. Lost to a Zygarde team, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think a, a bit more practice against this matchup would definitely have helped, because I don't remember seeing any in rank that I've played like 80 matches just this month. Hmm. But yeah, yes, that concludes Victory Road to Frankfurt Tournament for me. And I guess I'm probably not gonna use the exact same team on the competition next weekend. But maybe it's gonna be just a tweaked version of it, because I d do like the general concept of it. Like, the main issue I see is I lack some kind of priority move. And on that one team that's making the rounds as a rental team, there's Rillaboom as the sixth member. But Rillaboom, I felt like it made me prone to... What was it? To Among Us, to Trick Room in general. And I felt like the Solar Beam and Max Overgrowth on uh, Reshiram already took care of stuff like Gastrodon and Seismitoad. Hmm. But honestly, I should probably switch out Garados for Landorus and then figure out what the best replacement of Gastrodon is. But Gastrodon is so good! <laughs> uh, yeah! Okay, so like I said, I'm streaming over on Twitch. Usually it's VGC of some kind, whether it's an online competition or just doing ranked in general. So feel free to chime in on that thing. And I hope you enjoyed these matches. Alright, see ya!